Hopefully. Thank you very much, Chris. Well, too much of a good thing, including hot, humid summer weather, can be a risk to an older person's health. And Tim Barthos, the president and CEO of Baptist Health Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, is here now with some tips on beating the heat and staying safe. And good advice for all of us, but I know especially for the elderly who can be a little bit oh, more vulnerable about these things. Absolutely, yeah. Liz. I got to tell you, even before Mother Nature flipped to summer this weekend, uh, she brought some humidity with us. And Chris just told us that there's more on the way. Now, heat and humidity can be very tough on seniors living alone. So you want to check in on neighbors who live by themselves and make sure that they're handling the hot, humid weather okay. Now, heat exhaustion results in a rise in the core body temperature of between 100 and 104 degrees. Heat stroke, which is a severe form of heat exhaustion, affects a person's cooling system. Essentially, you stop sweating, and it can cause brain damage and uh, very serious injuries to other organs as well. So and it's I, a very serious situation. And I know that heat stroke is also a concern. Oh, my gosh, yes, it is. So. Yeah. Uh, may I share with you just yeah. a few things that you can do? Uh, certainly, you want to stay uh, inside during those really hot uh, hours of the day between yeah. 11 and 2. You want to wear uh, light, loose uh, fitting clothing like cotton and linen, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. and just try to stay as cool as possible. And, uh, yeah, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, in regards to heat stroke, um, one of the, certainly you want to get out of the sun. If you're feeling that you're, you might have heat stroke, get out of the sun, get some cold water, or get some sports drinks if you can, because they have electrolytes in them. But here's something that, this may sound strange, but if you can find access to, uh, get access to ice packs, place them under your armpits. Stand in front of a fan. Hmm. This will cool you down as quickly as possible. And that's the whole idea, to get your core body temperature back to normal as just as fast as you can. Oh, that's great so, advice there. You, you know, just exercise a little common sense yeah. and hopefully everybody will be fine and can enjoy the summer. And I always <laughs> encourage my dad to drink a lot of water just because of dehydration, everything else. Yes. I mean, you're just, you know, it gets hot, you start sweating yes. a lot of that water out, so you can't get enough water you in you. Right, nope. and, and I got to tell you, a lot of times you don't even realize that you're dehydrated. No, no. So drink that water. Drink that water. Absolutely. Worth to live by. Absolutely. It's like a mantra with my dad. Drink your water. Drink right. your water. <laughs> Thank Let you, me Tim. know if I need to come over and talk with him. <laughs> right. You just call him every hour. Okay. Drink your water. Thank you. Well, for more, he's probably, you know, just reminded you, Dad, to drink your water. And for more information about Baptist Health Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, or you want to suggest a topic for six on seniors, call 370-4700. Check them out on, web, on the web, bapthealth.com.